request the Honorable Chief Justice of Uganda to say a few words. Uh, Your Excellencies and uh, Your Lordships, all protocol observed. <clears throat> I stand here merely to thank the organizers of this function for inviting us to be here this evening. My understanding is that uh, this is one of the first meetings organized by this International Council of Jurists, what they now call International Conclave of Jurists. I also know that they have got fit in fact they are, they are, they are organizing together with other organizations. I want to commend their efforts to collaborate and network with each other. In many countries, these organizations treat each other as competitors, rather as complementary components, working together for a common objective, namely to advance justice, the rule of law and human rights. So I want to commend uh, these organizations which have come together to host us this evening. I think there is room for more organization and more organizations. I like the saying that we should stop organizing, but start organizing ourselves. There are many things that can be achieved if we organize ourselves and we work together. And I think this, this, this function shows how collaborating between various institutions can help to achieve this objective. Uh, Chief Justices, have a few organizations which bring us together. In a few years, I have attended a number of meetings or conferences organized for Chief Justices. Earlier this year, we were in London with the Common, the common Law of Countries meeting of Chief Justices. In Nairobi, we had a meeting again uh, last year. Uh, we had a meeting of Chief Justices of the Common. And in, South, in Africa, we have uh, meetings and uh, an organization, the Southern African Judges Commission, which is uh, an organization bring together 15 chief justices, many of whom are here. And I want to thank them for coming, <coughs> because I really did uh, plead to them that uh, we should go, they must come and uh, support uh, this uh, noble cause. I'm not saying that uh, we, uh, the, the suggestion by Sir James that we should have an organization of chief justices of the world. I'm not, I'm not dismissing it. I think it's an idea that we should think about and if possible, bring it to the organization. I want to say that uh, uh, we must be committed to the main purpose of our profession. That is bring justice to all manner of people without fear or favor. And try and bring access to justice to all people, disadvantaged, especially disadvantaged people. This, I appeal to all lawyers and judges to ensure that we are bringing access to justice for all, we promote justice or access to all of our people without discrimination. These vulnerable ones include the women and the children. And I want to say that uh, one of our missions here is to try and protect the children as well as future generations. I thank you for, for, this, for this opportunity and the hospitality that is extended, extended to us by these organizations. And I wish the new organizations uh, health and development and a bright future. Thank you. Now I will request Lady Chief Justice present here the Chief Justice of Benin to say a few words. I welcome her on behalf of Indian community and even on your behalf. Kindly say a few words. Monsieur le Président de la Commission internationale des juristes, Mr. 
President of the International Association of Jurists, chers membres de la Commission indienne des juristes et du barreau de l'Association du barreau de l'Inde, distinguished members of the Indian Bar Association, chers collègues juges en beau rang, titres et qualités, my colleagues, judges of qualities, mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, c'est un grand privilège pour moi It's a great privilege for me de prendre encore une fois la parole devant vous. To once again being able to address you. Surtout pour vous dire merci. Particularly to thank you. Merci de nous inviter en ces lieux. Thank you for inviting us here. Et de nous permettre de vous dire combien nous ressentons la chaleur de l'accueil indien. Which gives us the opportunity to tell you how much we appreciate the warmth of Indian hospitality. Je voudrais particulièrement saluer Madame la Présidente de l'Inde. I would like particularly to salute the Lady President of India. Qui vient de nous recevoir, mais je voudrais surtout à travers elle témoigner toute notre gratitude au peuple indien qui a estimé qu'une femme pouvait présider à la destinée de son pays. As you know, we have all just been received by Madame President of the Republic of India and uh, we would like to say through her how we appreciate the wisdom of a people who have chosen her and put her in that position. Ce n'est pas encore l'habitude dans tous les pays que l'on puisse donner de l'importance à une femme à un si haut niveau. It is not in many countries in the world, even today, that women are given so much importance as we have here in India at this time. Merci au peuple indien de nous d'être toujours pour nous l'exemple tout comme son apôtre de paix monsieur Mahamat Gandhi. Thank you India also for being provided this that is the world with the apostle of peace which Mahatma Gandhi represents. Messieurs les membres du barreau indien ainsi que ceux du conseil et de la commission internationale des juristes, nous formons ici une famille et c'est ce que vous venez de prouver. Members of the Bar Association of India and members of the Foreign International Jurist Association all together alongside us constitute a family. Les juges ne peuvent rien faire sans les autres membres de la famille judiciaire. A judge is not able to do much without assistance from the other members of the legal family. Nous sommes donc embarqués pour défendre une cause commune, celle de voir les enfants du monde sauvegardés dans leurs droits et 
dans leur personne. So we are all now joined together in a common endeavor of safeguarding the interests of future generations. Et nous pensons que à l'Ocnau, nous allons tous ensemble dans une même communion réfléchir et trouver les voies des moyens pour que l'avenir des enfants du monde soit meilleur et plus prospère. And we believe that in lockdown, we will have an opportunity to debate the issue with a view that children tomorrow can really find a better world. Puissions nous faire comme nous l'avons pensé et que nous puissions drainer autour de nous tous les dirigeants du monde entier afin qu'ils prennent une part importante à nos objectifs. Je vous remercie. May our success constitute an example to leaders all over the world to provide us the support which is necessary to bring about our noble objectives. I thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. I welcome our President of Supreme Court Bar Association, Mr. P. H. Parik, to this evening, I will request Deputy Chief Justice, the Supreme Constitutional Court of Egypt, to say a few words. His Excellency is former uh, President of the Session, uh, the Honorable Chief Justices and Member of the Bench and uh, different countries, uh, our distinguished hosts and colleagues. It has been a very long day, and I will try to be as brief as possible. Okay, um, we have all come here for a second cruise, and this cruise is the implementation of um, international law. A, um, a, uh, the fact we have really uh, been treated that warmly since uh, we've arrived, and we, we, we look into that, our program today and the time of meetings we have. Uh, gone through traveling by the meeting with um, his, Her Excellency, the President of the State, shows us how a Indian people are committed to the same truth. And it's not only in the university, but also in the different sectors of the society, including uh, uh, members of Spartan and so on. So I want to let us, we as members of the bench, together with the members of the bar, could contribute very positively to the accomplish this purpose. Uh, so much has been done so far, but the future will hold out so many other opportunities for all of us to contribute for that. Uh, our meeting uh, is starting tomorrow and not, uh, not, not half but now would really uh, be an opportunity for the whole world to walk into our efforts as the judicial community and the legal community for the world at large on how best we could contribute uh, to, 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 to put law in place for our message to the compliance and enforcement of international law. The, fa the fact that we have the law in place is not really sufficient. What is more important is to adhere to and enforce it. And this is uh, what we have to show to the world and send our signal and message to them as from tomorrow. Uh, I'm very uh, happy and proud by all this warmest uh, reception we have uh, done through so far. And uh, I would assure you that we equally uh, very much appreciate it for all what you have done for us. I thank you all and I look forward to further con um, interaction with all of you over the next few days. Thank you. the Chief Justice, former Chief Justice of India, the President of International Council to say two words. <coughs> it is indeed a great event today to be able to meet all of you together in order to greet you 